Why is the Strong's numbering system so important? Well, I have all these books here to show you why. I have the new Strong's Expanded Exhaustive Concordance of the Bible. And the reason why this is awesome is he's the one who invented this numbering system. But, for example, if I open to Presbyter, this will tell you where this word is located in the Theological Dictionary of the New Testament, which is that those purple books down there, for example, that one. And it'll show you where it's at in the B-A-G-D. And that is this one right here, the a Greek English lexicon of the New Testament and other Christian literature. And like I said, it's this one that does that. Not all Strong's Concordances do that. So get this one, the New Strong's Expanded Exhaustive Concordance of the Bible. This is a really good one. I've had some different ones, and trust me, this one is really great. And that's one of the reasons why. So Thayer, right here, it'll tell you where it's at in there. It'll give you the number there. So this is, or sorry, right here, this entry would be the how to find it in the sixth volume on page 681. And then on in the sixth volume on page 931. And then in the BAGD, it would be 699C. And then in Thayer, it would be 535D. But right here, the Strong's number is 4243, but these have different numbering systems. So this conveniently shows you where it's at in those systems. And if you get the interlinear Bible, get the, the one that's coded to Strong's. See how it says right there? Coded with Strong's concordance numbers. And the J.P. Green one is the one you want to get. And this is the interlinear Bible, so when you open it, here's the Hebrew, and it has the Strong's numbering system. So you can find that word easily. You come in here, get your number, like 923, then you open up in the back of this Strong's, and you look up the, def the definition of your word in the, in the Hebrew section. And then if you go further back, it's the Greek section, because if you're in the New Testament, see, it's going to be written in Greek, and you have your numbers above the words here. And then you go to the Greek, and you find your number, and you find the definitions of those words. So, that's the annual linear Bible in the Strong's Concordance. And get this one, like I said, look up that one right there. And um, so, the Jacinius, right here, it says, coded to Strong's, right there. And this is the Jacinius Hebrew Chaldee Lexicon. And then here's Thayer's, and it says, coded to Strong's. Strong's Exhaustive Concordance, so you can find it easily. And even this, this parsing guide, which teaches you what part of speech a particular word is, the analytical lexicon to the Greek New Testament by Mounts, if you open here, it will tell you that it's the Greek number for cross-reference. The new numbering system replaces that of Strong. So, but even though it's saying it replaces it, you look in the back here, and it shows you the Strong's number next to their number. And then back here, it shows that vice versa, their number next to Strong's number. But it tells you Strong's number compared to their number. And then right here, their number compared to Strong's number. And then if we look in the Theological Dictionary of the New Testament, you see that they have the Strong's numbering system here. It doesn't say Strong's at the top there, but it says the numbering system that's commonly used. Right here with the Greek. And don't forget, in this index here, of the Theological Dictionary of the New Testament, there is a Hebrew section right here, and it, it gives you the volume and the page number. So volume 5, pages 959 through 982 for this one. And then right here, the Theological Word Book of the Old Testament, if you look in the back here, it shows you their numbers compared to the Strong's numbers. So you can easily find the one you're looking for by referencing your Strong's concordance. And then right here, the Brown Java Briggs in the back, it even has the Strong's reference system in the back. See, it shows you the Brown Java Briggs number with the Strong's number. So, all of these are connected to the Strong's. A lot of them are. Get the books that are connected to Strong's and make it easy on yourself. So, if I looked up Loved right here, 157 would be the one in the, in the Hebrew there. So, I'd look up in the back in the Hebrew, 157. And I'd get my definition. So that word was love. I look up 157. I'm probably going to run out of time. Sorry if I do, but you'll kind of get the point here. So I look up 157, and it's Ahab. And it says, have affection for, sexually or otherwise. So, love. So if I look back here at a different one, and I look up the New Testament, 
word for it. So here's the word made. If I look up the New Testament word for it, I'll look up 1232 right here for this. I just selected 